Machi, this is not about greed. I had plans of becoming the leading marketer of that product in the whole of Africa. But unfortunately, I was dealing with syndicates who hacked into the company's email and defrauded a lot of their customers. That's the same problem we've been facing. We online vendors. We've been facing the same problem because people are scared of buying things online. They are scared of being scammed. Seriously, it's so pathetic. I feel so bad about this. I feel terribly bad about this. Have you spoken to Udri lately? Kachi, can I give you my candid advice? Just forget about Uju for now. Forget about her. Channel your whole energy on getting back to your feet. Okay? The problem is not trying to win Uju back. The problem is, where do I start from? Start from somewhere. Just look at everything you have. You have to start from somewhere. Start by selling off this house. Yes, I know it's beautiful. I know you can let go, but you have to. Sell this house off, move into a smaller apartment. Then you can start life over. Okay? You're right. I'm on it already. My agents are searching for a buyer. And once they sell the house, I have to pay up all my debt. Okay. So, what are your plans moving forward? Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to sell my house. Because I'm owing a lot of people. So once the house is sold, I pay up my debt and... Because if I don't, I might go to jail. And I don't want to go to jail. I pay up my debt and I focus on myself. Because I don't want to go to jail. Good afternoon. Good good, good. good. Sorry, sir. Good night and goodbye. No, good morning, sir. Sorry. No, it's favor. Yes, sir. What time did you report to work this morning? Um, it's it's not been long ago, sir, but I can explain. You can explain? Yes, sir. Well, you should keep the explanations to yourself because uh, I don't understand you these days. You used to be the best nurse in this hospital. What changed? This is not the first, this is not the second, not even the third time you are reporting to work very late. Sorry, sir. Well, that wouldn't stop me from giving you a deserved punishment. Follow me. So you finally decided to come back hmm? after spending two good hours. <laughs> well done. I am I'm sorry. Someone cannot play with you. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I, I went to your fiance's house. ex fiance Whatever. I went to this house and he told me he wants to sell his house. He wants to sell his house? Yes, but that is not the main story. Well, at first I was the one that suggested he sell the house so he can raise capital to start up something. But he told me that he has already been looking for agents that is going to help him sell the house. The problem is, even though he sells the house, the money can only be used 
to pay his debts. Is that so? Yes. He said he has to sell it as quick as possible or risk going to jail. Would you seriously catch him needs help? Please, would you? Let's go to logistic company, please. Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, we have to go because I need to be back here in an hour because I have a meeting. So if you're ready, let's go. I'm ready, let's go already. Let me shut down my system. Water back. Yeah. And pass them off. Just give me one card, please. Pass them off. It's much now. Now you stop. Take your two. Okay, why are they vex? Why are they vex? I go say five hundred. No, 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 say dollar they high. No, it's not. Not favor. Why are you this kind to me? That you even have to put your job on the line. Why are you this kind to a total stranger? Emeka, Why? You are not a total stranger. You are my friend. Your friend? That you met a sick person in, at the hospital and you automatically met that person your friend. Instantly. Emeka, you are an intelligent and hard-working young man who needs support. I merely reached out, that's all. The kindness is so rare. So rare that sometimes I wonder if, I, if it's a dream or a movie. I got a POS machine and even the phone to start it with your help. Most favor, you're such an angel. 
so okay. Come. Emeka, you see, someone taught me to see life differently. I came from a very poor family background. We were so poor, but we were very happy until my father died and everything changed. Things became very difficult for my mother. Sorry, you'll be fine. Everyone may have abandoned us, but God never did. I know He'll hear you in His own time, Mama. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me get you water to drink. Hold on. <coughs> Hey, my mother, I don't want anything to happen to her. <coughs> Mommy, you'll be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Mama, what will happen to you? You'll be fine. <coughs> oh, Sorry. Mama, I'll be back. Now you're going to my child. Don't worry. Mama, I'll be back. You'll be fine. I'll be back. Beautiful fever. Where are you up to? Ebeke Naga? Nothing, Uncle. I was actually going to your shop before I met you here. Please, Uncle, help my sick mom. She's dying. And we do not have money to take her to the hospital, please. You are the one that is still holding your mother. I told you what to do. Give me this thing. And you said no. You better do it and do it fast. Uncle, I'm still a child. Besides, I'm just 16. You are just 16. Uh, <laughs> beautiful favor. Those ones that you are older than, they are even doing it. Who even know if you have not even started doing it? No, I will not do anything like that. I will never. <gasps> yes, I'm still a virgin. My mother warned me not to indulge myself in such act until when I'm old enough to. <laughs> See, I'm not your uncle. Yes, I'm not your uncle. And let me warn you, let today be first and last. You will stop me and vomit this nonsense from your mouth. Do you hear me? Uncle, please. Please now. Please. Don't come near me again. Uncle, please help us. You are the one that is holding your mother. Uncle, I'm following you, please. Don't. Please now. Why is this happening to us? Why has everyone abandoned us, including our relatives? Why must I sleep with a man at this age before I can get help? What must I do now? Should I do this? No, I don't want anything to happen to my mother. 
I don't want anything to, to disappoint her either. Oh God, please come to our aid. Send us a helper. Young lady. Why are you crying? What do you want me to do for you? Sick. We do not have money to take her to the hospital, please. Why are you the one seeking for help? Where are your people? Where is your father? Doctor, my father is late. And no one cares to help. Please, my mother is all I have left. And I don't want anything to happen to her. Please. You see, I'm sorry about your predicament. This is not a hospital. I just sell drugs. I don't know what you want me to do for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can help. Sir, please. Please, this tears has been in my eye for months now. Please help me and wipe it away. Please. Okay. Sir. I will do anything you want me to do. I will wash your clothes. I will even mop your house. I can even work for you here without you paying me. Please, save my dying mother. Please. Okay. You know what? Dry your eyes. I'll help you. Okay? Just give me a minute. Let me go and get prepared. I'll help you. Thank you, sir. Stop crying. Thank you. Stop crying. Thank you. Thank you, sir. sick for a while. Why wasn't she taken to the hospital? So, like I told you earlier, no one cared to her. And the ones that I tried to, they are asking to have me in return. What? Have you in return? Yes, sir. As small as you are? Well, don't worry about that anymore. My mother will be fine. Okay. The drugs I've administered to her and those I put in the drip will stabilize her for now. Okay. But the only way we can be sure of what's going on in there is to run laboratory tests. So I'll come back and get blood samples and take them to the lab so we can run laboratory tests. That's the only way we can be sure of what's going on in that body. Oh, doctor, we don't have any money for laboratory tests. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Mama, you'll be okay. Don't worry about that. I know some people in the lab that will help us. Okay? You wouldn't have to pay anything. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. God will bless you. It's okay. Mama, wipe your tears, okay? Don't worry. Wipe your tears. You'll be okay. Don't cry anymore. Don't cry. What I want you to do is stay here okay. and attend to her needs, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll go, sort a few things, I'll come back and take blood samples, okay? Thank you, Alright, right. right. that's no problem. Thank you. Mama, you'll be well. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Conserve your strength. You'll be well. You'll be well. Don't worry. I'm coming, okay? Bye bye. Mama, you'll be fine. Sorry. Sir, please, can you explain more to me? I cannot even read what, what I'm seeing here. I cannot even read these results very well, please. You see, Favor, that result indicates that your mother 
has typhoid and the infection has been in her body for a very long time. That is why we have to treat her as soon as possible. As a matter of urgency. Now, the only problem is that treatment of this sort requires a lot of money. And I don't think you can afford it. Sir, I... 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 Actually, I trained as a doctor. What I'm going to do for you is, I'm going to treat your mother at home. That would reduce the cost drastically, as you don't have to take her to the hospital. And I have the drugs here. So, I will treat her for free. You are indeed a lifesaver. Thank you so much. My God will hold you abundantly. Thank you so much. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. You don't need to kneel for me. I'm not God. We treat what God heals. Um, the first time you walked in here, you asked me to be the one to help wipe your tears away. I wouldn't want to be a source of more tears to you. So don't cry. No, sir. So the tears in my eyes is for joy. They are for joy. Not for pain. It's neither sorrow. Thank you so much. You'll be surprised. I never expected that from you. Thank you so much. Well, you sound like a very intelligent young lady. And you're also beautiful. After hearing your encounters with men who offered to help and what they wanted in return, I have decided to help you for free. The purpose is to keep you on the straight and narrow. So you walk the straight and narrow line. And remember that we are all here to help each other. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. By the way, how is your mother? Oh, my mother. She's fine. She's getting better now. At least she was able to sleep last night. And I was able to sleep also like a baby that I am. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Like a baby that you are. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, I will... Okay. I have a call. Let me attend to this. Just give me a minute. Yes. Good afternoon. Yes. Yes, we have them in stock. All right. It's okay. So, Mama, how are you feeling now? feel better each person day. Okay, that's good. You see, Mama, I don't want you to stress yourself. I don't want you to bother about anything. All I want you to do is take your medication religiously because you must finish your dosage for you to be actually better. And then rest. That is just what I want you to do, okay? Yes, daughter. My daughter here has told me everything. Yes. Doctor, may God bless you in thousand folds. Amen. Man. Bless you too, man. Amen. Amen. Bless you. But the best appreciation for me would be your getting better and getting back on your feet. That would be the icing on the cake of appreciation for me. Okay? You'll do that for me, right? Doctor, with your good heart and the grace of God, I'll be better soon. That's nice. That's Thank nice. you so much. You're May welcome. God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you. You're welcome. So I would go now. You get some rest. Favor. Yes, See me in the store later. There is something we have to discuss. No problem, sir. I will come once you sleep. Good. Good. Thank All right. You. Let me leave you too now. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Doctor, thank you. He's a nice man. 
Yes, he is. It's very good. You know what, Ma? Time to sleep. So you lie down now and sleep. I'll be back. I will do that as you ordered. No problem. Favor. I remember you told me that you're willing to do anything if I help you save your mother. Is that still the case? Uh, yes, sir. I will, I will work for you without you paying me for what you have done for my mother. At least for saving her life. Now, why would you work for free? That's exploitation. I'm not going to be a part of that. Okay? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to employ you here, give you a job here, and place you on a monthly salary. What? Oh, thank you so much. My mother will be very happy once she hears this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Um, lately, I've been having other engagements which take me out of town and keep me very busy. And um, I would like you to stay here, you know, learn this trade. It's, it's an interesting trade and you're young, you're intelligent and I believe you catch on fast. Do not disappoint me. I swear, I won't disappoint you. I'll, I'll make you proud. I'll make it up to you. I promise. I know you will. I know you will. Um, one more thing. You would have to discuss it with your mother first and get her approval. And now, if she's okay by it, you let me know. I can take it off from there. We don't have any problems, sir. I will discuss it with my mother. By the way, how is she? She's fine. She's fine. Thank you once more. Thank you. Mama. 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 No, you will not believe it. what just happened now. You will not believe it, Mama. What happened? Ask him to see that face. See them. Mama, the Lord is at work. What happened? Okay. I went to see Mr. Rizzi, like he said. He asked me to work for him while he would be paying me salary at the end of the month. Yes. That man is a good man. May God reward him handsomely. Amen. Amen, Amen. Mama. He is. So, when did he say you should start work? Well, he said I should discuss it first with you and get back to him once you are strong enough to be doing things on your own. I'm strong, you can start immediately. Wow. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> May God bless him. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Mm. Ah, thank you, God. Thank you. Mm. Uh, favor. Oh. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. How are sales today? Fine, sir. I made more sales today. Mm. You can see that. Impressive. Sit down. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Favor. Sir. I hope you have been saving from the money I pay you here. Yes, sir. My mother helps me to do that. Good. It's very important. Very important. And um, have you given any thought to what you want to do with your future? Like a career or something? Would you like to um, be a nurse? Um, no, sir. Or something close to that. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse in the future. Okay, you would like to be a doctor. That's good. That's a very good dream. The only thing is that you've got to start from somewhere. You know, considering the situation of the country and, you know, the amount of finances that you have or that I have, I think it's best you start um, as a nurse. You can train as a nurse and later on, if need be, if you feel the need, can go ahead and train as a doctor. So I would like you to go home, think about it, discuss with your mother, and later tell me what you've decided. No problem, sir. Thank you. I will do as you just said. 
favor. Uh, why did you drag Mama out of the house? Mm -hmm. Mama, you shouldn't have bothered to come. You're still not very strong. You should be at home resting. I may not be too strong. But your benevolence towards me and my daughter is overwhelming. That is why I'm here to thank you. May God bless you. Amen, Ma. Amen. You see, someone saw the potential in me years ago when I was hopeless. And he sponsored me through school. He trained me as a doctor. I see the same potential in favor here. Hmm. And I'm willing to help. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You see, your daughter Favor is a very brilliant young girl. And I think she'll go far. She told me her dream is to become a doctor. It's just unfortunate that my finances would not enable me to sponsor her whole medical career. But there is an option. She can go to nursing school. I'll help her through nursing school. And even when she becomes a nurse at the end of the day, she can further her training and still become a doctor if she wishes to be. Mr. Rinze, that is very thoughtful of you. You are a good man. And I pray for you this day that because of your good heart, that God will open more doors of blessings for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your prayers. So, now you're here. Um, favor. Yes, sir. Yes. You take this money. Okay. And you go and buy Mama some fruits. You know? Go to the junction and buy those big bananas. Okay? Buy big bananas for now. You don't need to bother yourself. You have tried them. No, 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 Mama. No, Mama. It's just fruit. Moreover, you need to, you know, you need to get your strength back. So, favor, go, go get us some fruits. Okay, okay, sir. Big bananas. Okay. So I became a nurse and I worked here in the chemist whenever I'm off for free. I wasn't asking for money or anything. Then one day my boss called me and informed me he got a job in the United States and he was traveling. And just like that, he left the shop for me. I was so surprised and when I asked him, you don't know me, why are you leaving this place for me? Why are you being so kind? He said to me, to keep it that he does, he does not need to know me to be kind to me and he encouraged me to always make sure I sprinkle a bit of kindness to every person I meet so you see wow that's a torture story I'm just speaking this so you see it's not always about money yeah you are right what you have done for me was more than millions and I don't know how to repay you back all I can say is thank you. And all I can say is you're welcome. And all I want you to do is be a better person and always be good to people. Okay? So, that said, are you still going to refer to yourself as a stranger? Me? Me? Stranger? Me that I've known you since I Adams. Know. <laughs> You look extremely quiet today. Is there something wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine. No. You can't say that. I mean, look at you. You don't look fine. We came here to have lunch. You still haven't ordered. You keep saying later, later, later. Come on. If there's anything you can talk to me, I'm listening. Have you found a house? No, not yet. I mean, I did go to check out one yesterday and uh, I didn't particularly like it. I know I'm going to build my own house, but before then I need to find something appropriate. I, I don't want to rush it, you know what I mean? Well, I think I found your house. You did? You've been searching? I mean, this just shows how resourceful and industrious of a person that you are. That's why I like you. So the house, um, did you like it? 
Oh honey, you need to see this house. This house is so beautiful and I love it. I heard the owner went bankrupt and he wants to sell the house urgently so he can pay off his debts. I think you should get it. I mean, you may like it. I'll send you the address so you can see. Yeah, maybe you should send me the address. I'll forward it to my agent and let them check it out. In fact, you know what? I don't even need to check it out. Once you have seen it and you like it, mm -hmm. I will purchase it. <gasps> you will? Yeah. I will get it for us. Thank you. No problem. You are so sweet. You're welcome. So will you eat now? Will you order? Yes, my friend. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, excuse me. Menu, please. I am about to get our house. Our house. I'd love to see that smile on your face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when um, I was told the fiancé likes the house. So. I'm not sure because I don't want to you know, stress you or inconvenience you in any way. Yeah. 
This is just to say sorry for the times you visited me at the hotels. That's going to come to an end really soon. As the agreement is already in progress, we are about to sign it. Love you. Wow, I mean this calls for celebration, so why are we not celebrating it? You're going to take me to the house today? Really? Oh my god, this is good news! Oh honey, I can't wait, I can't wait. Yes, I'll call you once I'm done from work. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I'll be coming with my clutch purse to see you today. All right, love you. See you soon. Ooh! Now this is what I call life. Get it, 
Look at me. <laughs> I am kneeling right in front of you, begging you, please, come back to me. I love you. Kachi, I don't understand. Is love by force? Is it by force? Huh? Why are you forcing me? I mean, you never forced me before. So why are you forcing me now? Because I love you. Don't I have the right to love and not love? Don't force me. Think about all we shared. Think about the good times. Please. Well, I have forgotten them. Yes, I have forgotten the good times. Don't you get it? Don't you understand that I am no longer interested in whatever we have? Don't you get it? Please. I understand, but... Please. Please come back to me. Please. Kaji, you need to save yourself this embarrassment. You need to save yourself this embarrassment and stress. I mean, I am too addicted to affluence. I am so addicted to it. So I can't date a broke-ass nigger like you, Maybe. let alone marry you.